Welcome to Silver Barkeep. I'm Brian Anderson coming to you from Anderson's Guitar Bar here in lovely League City, Texas. Today we're going to take a look at Wissen, a uh, non-alcoholic whiskey alternative. Um, this I've seen this around. Um, I've seen it on Amazon a lot. I've seen some pretty disparaging reviews on it. But I thought, you know, i got to do some completeness here. And I did a little research in this, which made me really wanted to, to try this. Um, and, and I wrote some of this stuff. This is made by Industrious Espen, Esperafor, which is out of Spain. They've been making non-alcoholic um, beverages and, and sodas and things like that since 1939. Um, and this particular product won an award in 1998. So it's been around at least that long. So it's been around for you know, 23 years at least, and, and probably before that, it, I never could find exactly when they released this product, <clears throat> which means this is one of the longest um, b produced non-alcoholic spirits that's been around out there. I know there's a lot of companies, a couple of them in particular, that claim that they are the first one. No, this one's been around for a lot longer than any of those. Um, and so they've been putting it out for a long time, so I thought, you know, i got to try this because... Um, if it's been around that long and they continue to sell it, either somebody's hobby or there's something there. So I wanted to try this thing uh, and just and see what we're dealing with here. Um, and, and thought, hey, this would be fun. So um, first off, it, it looks like looks like a nice uh, light um, whiskey, and and it's got a, a very unique. It, it smells like whiskey. This one, to me, has, it's got that dry, astringent kind of, um, it almost smells like alcohol. And it, it, this one just nails that dry, um, a whiskey kind of smell to it. Um, very, very interesting and intriguing when I first poured this thing, because I thought, man, I, I, I like the smell of this. Uh, so let me try it. It is just overbearingly sweet i mean it's like syrup um so i messed with this thing and thought you know i love the smell of it. if it tasted like it smelled um this would be a fantastic product um it, it but there's just so much sweetness in this thing and it's and it's the viscosity the viscosity is just almost too much which is odd for a non-alcoholic spirit uh, but I thought, okay, maybe we can work with this. And I tried it in a whiskey and Coke, way too sweet. I tried it in an old-fashioned, way too sweet. Tried it with ginger beer, thinking that the, the bite of the ginger beer would cut through. No, it didn't. Um, but then I thought, okay, let's try. We, we need to, to tame the sweetness and see if we can pull that flavor out. Because in the back of all the sweetness is, is a flavor that's very similar to that aroma. So let's take a look here. Let's, uh, let's grab a little ice. We're going to try to make this thing pretty simple here, because what I thought was, you know, if if I can, if I can just cut this down, and I tried it on the rocks now, tried it with a little water, and, and it just wasn't quite there. It, it just it didn't dull that the sweetness. But what I did find was when I did this, so I'm going to do two ounces, and I've got a regular highball gl glass here, um, a regular old fashioned glass here. You see me mix a lot of things on this show in a double old fashioned. Uh, this is a smaller single old fashioned glass. Um, so we got two ounces of the Wisson product. Then we're going to top it off with just club soda. Um, and you know, one of the interesting things that I think I like about ginger beer is the effervescence kind of gives it um, some character, kind of brings out uh, some flavor, um, and, and just tends to add to it. Um, now, one thing I will tell you is because of the viscosity of this thing uh, and, and the, the syrupy type nature, and I know I'm making this sound horrible, but uh, you, you have to stir this. Just pouring it in is not going to be good enough. You've got to really give this a thorough uh, stirring to get this mixed in well. And, and then what I found is once I do this, this tastes like whiskey. I mean, it just really... I think the effervescence gives it some character uh, that's lacking with the, the alcohol being gone. It cuts the sweetness down tremendously because, you know, uh, sparkling water, club soda, is very, very dry. I mean, really extremely dry. Um, so I think it cuts it down quite a bit. It's, it brings out the vanilla flavors 
because uh, it's got a really, really uh, not strong, but really deep vanilla flavor to it um, on top of the whiskey aroma on top uh, there. And it's got the aftertaste of whiskey. Uh, I drink my whiskeys uh, on the rocks, um, and, and I loved drinking it that way. This thing is very close to that for me in that it's got this, this long lingering aftertaste that you would get with whiskey. After you had a sip of whiskey, after a little while you you had this aftertaste, when you breathe back out, this is this has really got a lot of that in it. Um, I You know, I, I have a hard time rating this because it's been very difficult to deal with. Um, I think um, this, this drink to me is at least a four, um, probably more. I've drank several of them since I figured this out and will probably buy more of this because of this one simple way of doing it. Any other way I mixed it was a three or a two. Um, so I, I struggle with how to rate this. I'm going to rate this particular drink a four. Um, it, so, you know, it's a four with an asterisk. Uh, it, you know, any other way, if you if you like your old fashions or you like it with the whiskey and Coke, I don't think you, well, you might. You might try it. Uh, but it is just no going in. It is really, really sweet. Um, I... I like this. I, I'm surprised. Uh, I really am. I went into this thinking I wasn't going to like this, um, but uh, and, and I, when I first started messing with it, I didn't like it. Uh, but this, this is a good drink, um, and, and it's it's only like twenty five dollars uh, on on Amazon. So it's one of the lower priced uh, non alcoholic. If you think if you think if you like that that dry whiskey flavor and that long lingering whiskey aftertaste. Might be worth buying a bottle of this just to try it this way. So, Rocky, live well and drink smart.